Girls do it all the time. About them fancy pink gloves. Can't wear leather, she said. Just don't like it. She's so dramatic. everybody today we're at the shop we're very ecstatic over this it looks like our clutch was shitty and our pressure and our uh, master cylinder and slice cylinder so I tried to blame it on her there wasn't no way to do it but somebody else did it or just you know time truck only has 430,000 miles on it, so you would think that these things wouldn't be bad. I can't even blame it on the Max Force engine because it's not part of the engine. That's all right. We got to dig in our pocket a little bit, and what what, what what's the total going to be? 1,200, I think. Uh, clutch is... Uh, uh, I forget. The clutch was 3,000. Okay, so three. And this. About 45. It's like close to 15, but under 15. I don't remember the exact number. We'll see. But anyway, we're, we're at uh, the Western Star Freightliner over here in St. Joseph, Missouri. They're really nice people. Not the best place to be at as far as size, but they're real nice. I would recommend them to anybody. They do close at 11, but they'll kick you out in the parking lot. And they'll ask if you need anything first. Yeah. So I just thought I'd let you know what my day's been like. It's a good thing we make money because we're going to spend a little bit. But that's what you do. You got to spend a little bit of money to make a little bit of money. Don't let it hurt your feelings. Just do it. Get it over with. You got to eat bologna sandwiches that week. It's all right. We don't have to eat bologna sandwiches that week because we're, we're prepared. But anyway, we'll talk about something else later. See ya. So while we're trapped here, at the Freightliner, I'm going to make some sauerkraut. And where is that? It's on there somewhere. And a kielbasa. 
That's what we're gonna have for lunch because I'm hungry bastard. I'm trying to eat vegetarian. I'm, that kielbasa is not vegetarian, I'm gonna tell you now. Sauerkraut's good though. No, not really, it's, it's awful. But for some reason I like it. Y'all try it. All right, this is the outcome. Um, a friend of mine, his, he's told me his mom always made this dish with mixed vegetables. I told him I think his mom was a little screwed up in the head. But last night his old mom died, so I made it with mixed vegetables just to, just to honor old Mrs. Paris and, and uh, try it out. Maybe his mom knew something. You know, she was one of them old school ladies. So let's, let's try it out. Okay, just to let you know, Mrs. Pierce wasn't full of poop, but it didn't help it any. It didn't hurt it either. So go ahead and mix the mixed vegetables in there just so you can get some more vitamins and minerals. Carry on. All right, guys, truck's broke down still, so I'm off my diet. I'm gonna let you see. Just have a gander at this pizza. You're not gonna believe this pizza, all right? It's like party time at the hotel when the truck's broke. Check it out. We got the Modella beer because I like the Modella beer. Check this out. Oh my gosh, what is this? I don't eat bread. Today I'm eating bread. How about that? Ain't that crazy? It weighs like 20 pounds. <sighs> what a what a sight. What a sight.